Hey, Shalom, Shalom. So yes, I, I subscribe to this dude's page. And you know, you, you know I, just, I just did a whole lesson on it. You know, but something I neg neglected to put in the lesson is what he said. You know, and something that the Hebrew Israelites do is we look up words, man. So he very well could be an Israelite. But check it out. I want you to hear exactly what he's saying and why they took his video down. Rewatched the video before I appealed it, and I couldn't find where they randomly thought that I was giving medical misinformation. Here's the funny part. Doug and Stacy just did a video, and I left a comment on Doug's uh, video, and I was really appreciative. And I said, hey, Doug, yep, they're coming for us all. It's because his video highlighted pharmacaea. I don't know, I don't remember if in watching the video, uh, he touched on the word pharmacaea, but the modern pharmaceutical in, uh, industry and where it came from, the Rockefellers, and what it's predicated on, and all of that. But if you go back in the Greek, the word pharmakeia is in the Bible, and it means witchcraft. So now let's see if they take this video down. All right, hey, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakaha Kodash. All right, double honors to the men who rule well, and we all, we all know who they are. My spiritual fathers, of whom I learn from each and every day. Healthy shalom to the brothers that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity. All right, hey, it's the brother the Bar Dama coming back at you. Another quick hitter. Let's start off right here. So what you see, I'm recording this on two different phones. So it may come out two different ways, I'm not sure. All right, so what brother had done a lesson about this, uh, this guy right here and about how uh, Esau Edom, see, we're in, a, we're in a spiritual war, it, heavy, a heavy spiritual war. And, you know, the devil, Satan, you know, Esau Edom is trying everything and doing everything to continue to uh, maybe even try to discourage, you know, the Israelites or, you know, taking our videos down, shadow banning. You know, I just got my channel back today. All right. From, some, from a video that I did a year ago. Now, it was very interesting because this guy right here, uh, see, they took, they took it down. I got caught. They will, uh, what does that say? Salakia. Well, it won't let me go to it. Again, I'm doing this on two different phones, so it's going to come on, you know, two different ways. But he's, they got me. You are next, right? So he's going into how they uh, had took down a video that he did uh, uh, almost a year ago. All right. And it was had something to do with, you know, health and wellness, uh, natural herbs. It's like, yeah. Yeah. Natural herbs, you know, and just the truth of things. Now, I don't know if this guy is an Israelite or not. I haven't, you know, tested his spirit or whatever, but I'm actually uh, uh, subscribed to his channel. And because he's into alternative energies, you know, and all kinds of different things. And this is what Esau Edom don't want, you know, everybody. They, they want him. You know, like the scripture said, he hid but to himself all people, all people, teachers having itching ears. Now, let's go. Let's let's read this first. This is Acts three and verse 19. Repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. OK, so if, if we need to repent and turn back to you, which in fact is is what you see. You know, the Israelites, the men on the highways and hedges, the men doing these epistles daily. And again, it's a spiritual war that we're in. Heavy, heavy spiritual war. All right. Those are the men that are repenting and turning back, putting on the new man. Right. So without any further ado. Let's go. <clears throat> Salakia, Romans 8 and verse 31. When shall we what shall we say then? Slakia. What shall we say to these things? If the most high be for us, who can be against us? Right. So there's, there's something else that we have to understand very clearly understand that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh is doing this in the first place. These are part of the curses. This is how you can recognize who the Israelites are. This is how you trace who the Israelites are. Part of the curses, you know, also the migration patterns, you know, and, and uh, it, which is written in the prophecies in the book. That it showed, you know, where the Israelites are going to be, in, you know, in the land of their captivity, captivities, if you will. So without any further ado, I'm going to play just a little bit of this. OK. Give me one moment. Here we go. 
It's lucky. It was medical misinformation. You heard that. You know what? I appealed it, and they still said no. <clears throat> they uh, gave me a warning, and that warning will not be removed off my channel for over 90 days. I'll tell you what the video is about in just a minute. This warning was my one warning. So the next time I violate their community standards, which is what they said that I did, I'll get a strike. See that? strikes, and my channel's gone. Uh -huh. My channel, my livelihood could be gone in an instant because this video that they took down, this one video that they took down was one year old. And I made a lot of similar videos to this. So I don't know what they're gonna do if they're gonna just comb through my channel and pick them off one at a time. See that? And say, oh, sorry, you violated, you got three strikes and you're done. They can do that in an instant. An instant. So I have an so incredibly, I have an incredibly difficult, difficult decision to right, make. Hold on one second. I have a homesteading channel that has a huge breadth of different right, information. So, what is he talking about? You know, this guy, you yeah, have the country living uh, experience and homestead journey, right? You know, you know how these how these people are. But there's there's a rash of people that that are wanting to live, you know, on their own, be off grid, and this and that, blah blah blah. But see, Esau, Edom don't want that. All this uh, is is sort of meshed up. Is well, totally meshed up with what? With the CBDCs, with the digital currency that's coming, with the MOTB, which is which is, you know, acronym for what? The mark of the beast. All right. And so what he's talking about right now has happened to each and every one of us, brothers. And I know, you know, <clears throat> OK, but their own tongue now is falling upon themselves. Let me see if you can hear this. I hope you can hear it. Let me. So, Lockie, I'm doing this just in a sort of a weird way, but. Oh, yeah, I can do it like this. different information on it. Not only do I talk about herbs that can heal you Hear that? and food that can heal you, I do talk about obviously solar and rainwater reclamation and gardening and all of the above as it comes related to homesteading. All right, so you know, I'm gonna go ahead and pause. GMC. It's Lockyer. I don't wanna hear no damn commercial. So let you know, from right there, let's jump right on into the scriptures. We'll go to the second Thessalonians. You know what? I'll just do it like this. I'll just keep him on the screen, man, because, he, you know, he, he's feeling the crunch, too. And the scripture talks about this. It, something's getting ready to come on the horizon here. You've got, you know, uh, oh, what's her name? Kamala Harris and you got uh, Donald Trump. And, you know, this country is divided. And the scripture told you that a place divided cannot stand. A country divided cannot stand people against people. All right. So, you know, either outcome, whoever's going to be president, it's going to be 50% of the people that ain't having that shit. All right. And all, all this is all this is popping off the pages, man. <clears throat> Salakia, Second Thessalonians, one of verse six, seeing is a righteous thing with the most high power to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. Right. And, you know, and part of part of those troubles is what? With the, hey, heavy, heavy. These lessons are coming out heavy daily. Daily, 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 but they're continually trying to stop it. Ultimately, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh said, He is going to send a famine of the word. Jeremiah 1 of verse 18. For behold, I have made these things, uh, 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 Sarkia, I have made this day a defense city, an iron pillar, a brazen wall against <clears throat> the whole land, against the king of Judah, against the princes thereof, and against princes thereof, and against the people of the land. All right? Continuing on. Ooh. Let's go to the book of Psalms 139 and verse 21. It's a it's heavy. It's a heavy spiritual battle. You know, and, and again, they're working overtime, working really hard to try to get us to shut the hell up. Same thing they did to us in Rome, man. They kicked us, <laughs> they kicked our asses out of Rome, man. You know? Uh, not to mention, was it DJ Trump called us the prophets of doom? But Yahweh Bashem Yahshai is clearly telling you that he's not with, he's not with these people. He's with his uh, his people. OK, so all the shadow banning and they taking things down. Now it's starting to hit, you know, uh, just regular YouTubers or whatever. You know, apparently he's got a pretty big channel. I, I'm even I'm that's what you know, that's what, what turned me on to his channel was the alternative energies and all that. You know, I'm a, 
that kind of guy. I mean, I'm into electricity and, you know, and energy and trying to save money and do this and whatever. Psalms 139 verse 21. Do not I hate them, O Yahweh, that hate thee, and not I grieve of those who rise up against thee, man. All right. The same thing happened with the what the Bible destruction group. And matter of fact. Let's see. Here we go. Second, second Chronicles 36 and verse 16. Please excuse me. But they mocked the messengers of the Most High Yahweh and despised his words and misused his prophets until the wrath of the Lord Yahweh arose against his people till they were no more remedy. Right. And it's and again, going back to the curses. What did it say? Thou shalt be only oppressed and spoiled forevermore until an appointed time. OK. Now, again, I read that it's a righteous thing to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you, but not on this side. Not yet. Not yet. This is why I'm continually saying it's a spiritual battle that we fighting and we fighting and we fighting. Keep keep up the good fight, man. Keep up the good fight. Revelation one of verse three. Blessed is he that readeth and that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written therein for the time is at hand. Hey, man, the chariots all over the place. The time is at hand. It's high time to awake out of sleep. A lot of Israelites have settled on their leaves. Happy about just knowing that they're Israelites or not even knowing, uh, turning a uh, turning their shoulder, turning a blind eye, you know, stopping your ears. You, you're, you're comfortable in this world, in this place. But clearly you got a rash of videos. You got a rash of uh, uh, channels, shall I say. Like this country living in uh, alternative energies and, uh, you know, healing uh, plants and you know, natural things that Yahweh Bashem Yahushai has put here for us to use naturally. All right. And they're coming after him because it is so, you know, nevertheless, they're going to come after us because we're teaching the 100 percent truth. OK. Let's move on. Let's move on to the book of Habakkuk. Two and verse one, I will stand upon my watch. And set me upon the tower and I will watch to see what he will say unto me, what I shall answer when I am reproved. And the Lord Yahweh answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it. That's why I read the scripture blesses he that readeth it, man. You got to read. You got to read. You got to study. You got to understand. All right. You got to study to show thyself approved. Blesses he and he going he gonna to run when he reads it. That's the problem with a whole lot of people is they're too preoccupied in different things. We're supposed to be occupied in what? In prophecies. The vision that is what? Plain upon tables. All right. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it because it shall surely come. It will not tarry. All right. Verse four, all these unrighteous decrees and the things that they do, they try to say the, the medical miss. I'll just say it like that. The medical miss, all right, uh, 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 violence, you know, of a, a video I did a, a year back, maybe a year and a half. And he's saying the same thing as a video he did. And, and what are they going to do? What are they going to do? Comb through his uh, his channel. You know, you already, you already know what it is, man. Behold, his soul, which is lifted up, is not upright in him. <clears throat> but the just shall live by faith. Yea, also because he transgresses by wine, he is a proud man. All right. Let me keep that up. He's a proud man, neither keeper at home who enlarges his desire as hell and is as death and cannot be satisfied, but gather unto him all nations and heap unto him all people. And also what controls the narrative. He loves to control the narrative. All right. Deuteronomy 30, verse seven. And the Lord, Yahweh, thy power will put all these curses upon thine enemies and them that hate thee, which persecuteth thee. And part of that persecution is what? Trying to silence us. Trying to silence us. Let alone other very heavy things that they've done to the Israelites all throughout the years. Okay? It's a righteous thing to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. And again, if this guy's an Israelite, then he's going to remember all this. He's going he's gonna to get them back also. See? And if he's not an Israelite, yo, hey, his ass going into slavery. And that's that. <laughs> Isaiah 10 and verse one. Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees that white right grievousness, which they have prescribed. Right. So, hey, let's go back. Damn, I got to sort of play this. Let me mute. The... All right. 
them ads. I don't. That's another thing you're not gonna see on the Israelites videos. It's a bunch of freaking ads, man. Stupid ass ads. All right. What should I do? Should I voluntarily take off videos that I think might get a strike against my channel just because I talked about the healing benefits of an herb? See that? The thing is, is I see a lot of other channels out there that have healing herb channels. They are foraging channels. See? A video he did a year ago about foraging and healing herbs, man. All right? You can't make this up. And again, he's got a rather large channel. If you're into alternative energies, you know, pan solar panels and wind turbines and all that, then, you know, well, hey, watch, watch the Deuce channel. Book of Psalms 64, verse 8. So they make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see thee shall flee away. That's what they've been doing that. The son of perdition is, been, is, is being revealed each and every day. And that's another reason why they want us to shut the hell. They, <laughs> they want to shut us up. But through the spirit power of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shah, what did he say? He said he's going to make the famine of the word. And, 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 and we, can, we can see it coming. Okay? All these bills, all this, uh, all these bills, unrighteous decrees, which they have prescribed because it is the power of their hand, they're getting ready to try to do. All right? And when the scripture goes into it and tells you that, he said he is the one. He is the one that's going to cause the famine of the word. So you better get it while it's hot. You better, you better, you know, hey, you hit a dinner bell, you better eat. All right. You better make haste and delay not. Right. As the scripture said, verse nine, and all men shall fear and shall declare the work of the most high power for they shall wisely consider his doing. You see that? Because wisely, it said wisely consider his doing. The righteous shall be glad in the Lord Yahweh and shall trust in him and all the upright in heart, which is your mind, shall glory. Simple as that. I just thought it was very interesting that, uh, you know, I saw this video pop up and he said they took it down. I got caught. They will uh, they will come after you, too. And hey, don't we already know that as Hebrew Israelites? We know that they've been coming after us. It was really heavy doing during, during the, uh, the CV uh, one niner. It was really heavy, man. We couldn't hardly say anything. It was a, it was a point in time when we couldn't uh, quote uh, Revelation, the 16th chapter. You want to talk about censorship, right? And then well, they call this the, the bunch of hypocrites, man. The land of the free and the home of the slave. That's exactly what it is. All right. <laughs> Controlling the narrative. I pulled this up. This little article. You see, one of the most important tools in narcissist toolbox is to uh, uh, is, is the ability to control the narrative. Manipulate manip manipulation is key. Is a key trait of individuals which uh, controlling per with controlling personalities. You know, what, right? Esau, you know, proud. He, he wants to be in charge, like I just read in the book of Habakkuk, right? You know, call it gaslighting, uh, uh, ooh, ooh, whitewashing, or rewriting the script. All right, and that, that reminds me of something. What has Esau Edom done? There was a thing called the Bible Destruction Group. And I think it was around, what, 1776, something like that. You know, I may be wrong. Please correct me if I am. Right. The Bible destruction. group. What did they do? They took out the Apocrypha, which was it was always there. It was always a part of the scriptures. But they say, well, it's not canonized. You see, that's not canonized. But that's that, that's what they've always done. All right. Controlling the narrative. Let's read just a little bit about this. You see the Bible destruction group. You see the origin of the post Christian West You see the Bible destruction group. Oh, that's on YouTube. That's, what is this? That's yeah. That's got to be a great millstone, brother. December eighteenth, twenty twenty. Wow, that was a while back. Duration fifteen minutes. Yep. GMS Trumpet Archives. Interesting. <laughs> oh man. All right. Let's go here. Let's see. Uh, we trace our lineage. Yep. That's the. Uh, you know, I was talking about that before. Let's go. Let's go to a part of why. They wanted to take out the Apocrypha and why they want us to shut the hell up. All right. Because the truth is all up in the Bible and it's all in the prophet's mouth. This is first Maccabees three and verse 48. What do they do. And they lay open the book of the law wherein the heathen has sought to paint the likeness of their images. And there's there's a problem with Israelites today. Northern and southern kingdom. All right. Mainly northern kingdom. They got a real issue with that. 
is with white Jeebus, man. They cannot get that image out of their mind. It was a brother that I was speaking to at camp uh, a couple weeks ago. Yeah, I think it was a couple weeks ago. And, uh, you know, the, the lesson continued on in the truck. All right. It was his brother. I know or whatever, you know, down on his luck, you know, the curses. Right. But he just could not get that image out of his. He couldn't get the image of Cesare out of his head. He couldn't do it. You see, but this is what these devils did. That's why they wanted to take out the Apocrypha, the Bible destruction group. Let's go to first Maccabees one of verse nine. After his death, what Alexander, right? They all put crowns upon themselves. So did their sons after them many years and evils were multiplied on the earth. Hello, controlling the narrative. Uh, 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 who the world ignorantly calls Jebus. His name is Yahawashai. He looks like this. He loves everybody. The laws have been done away with. All right. You know, uh, we are the so we, we, we white people. Y'all are black people. We can even go into that. That's what was that? Uh, uh, Jehovah's wickedness. Let's see. There we go. Look at that devil. All right. Not this, not this guy. I don't know this guy. You know, it's a pretty good channel. But you see, what does the Book of Mormon mean by skin of blackness? Shh, come on, man. All right. Let's see. Uh, second Nephi. I don't know what that is. Five verse twenty one. Let's read it. And he called and he calls the curses to come upon them. Ye even a sore cursing because of their iniquity. For behold, they had hardened their hearts against him that they would become like unto flint. Wherefore, <laughs> you hear this? Wherefore, as they were white, you see this? And it, it <laughs> oh man, these Edomites are crazy and exceedingly <clears throat> fair and uh and uh, the uh, delight and delightsome and delightsome. Oh my goodness, that they might not be enticing unto my people. Uh, the Lord, uh, 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 Slakia people, the Lord God did cause a skin of blackness to come upon them, and they want to go into that and say that's the, the mark of Cain. No, 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 no. Cain was cursed with leprosy, and Cain, the spirit that Cain parlayed into Esau, Edom. You go back and read Genesis, the twenty fifth chapter, twenty five, twenty five. <clears throat> All right, these are this is milk, straight up. Isaiah twenty nine verse fifteen. Woe unto them that seek deep. To hide their counsel. What do they say? It's because of medical myths. It's because of this. It's because of that. It's because you you quoted a, a Bible verse. Now they're telling you you can't uh, say nothing about the uh, the nineteen uh, the nineteen forty eight small hatters, or else they uh, they might put you in, uh, in jail. See, woe well, to them. Let's read it again. <clears throat> Please excuse me. Isaiah 29, verse 15. Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord Yahweh, and their works are in the dark. And they say, who seeth us and who knoweth us? Okay. Let's jump on down. Hmm. Let me close out right here. I don't make it too much longer. I, again, I just thought it was very interesting, you know, how he was like, wow, they, they, they did this to me, and but they've been doing this to the Hebrew Israelites for the longest, man. For the longest. Might want to go back up here. Um, ooh, ooh. Romans 1 and verse 18. For the wrath of the Most High, Yahweh is revealed from heaven against all unrighteousness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. See that? The scripture just told you to them to hold the truth in unrighteousness. These, uh, these other camps, all kinds of IUIC, man. My goodness. Now it's General Nate. Uh, they could just continually going off. It's just maddening. The mark of the beast is sin. And it, nah, man, nah. Anyway, verse 19. It's, it's, it's crazy. It's getting crazy out there, man. The law, the law, the law. Boasted in the law. But didn't the law tell you not to make a covenant with the devil? Did it did it not tell you not to be uh, unequally yoked with unbelievers? Did, didn't the law tell you you're supposed to be separated uh, 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 from your uh, from your wife? You just had a baby or on a menstrual <laughs> for fifty days at that because 
that which may know of the most high power is manifest in them for the most high power have showed it unto them for the invisible things of him from the creation of the world and clearly seen being understood by the things that are made even his eternal power and Godhead so that they are without excuse. Do you see that? They are what without excuse because that when they knew the most high power, they glorified him not as the most high power. Neither were thankful. And we got a lot to be thankful for in these last times. Even, even the, 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 the spiritual gifts that he's given of faith. We have a whole lot to be thankful for. Call her lawyer. How about Shimmy? I was shy, man. See, because that when they knew the most high, they were glorified in him. Neither were thankful because but because so lucky, let me camera keeps wanting to go off for some reason because vain in their imaginations and their foolish heart was darkened, professing themselves to be wise. They became as fools and changed the glory, uncorruptible power into the image made like unlike. Read it right, Gabar, like two corruptible men, two birds and four footed beasts and creeping things changed. What? See. Changed the glory of Yahweh by Shem Shah. And that's exactly what Esau Edom is trying to do is gain back that birthright. But you sold it for one morsel of meat and you can't get it back. That's why they're doing all these things in uh, in hopes, you know, in cahoots with all the rest of these nations, too. They don't get off the damn uh they don't they don't get off the damn hook. They go, they, you know, they're they getting a the punishment, too. OK, everybody was uh, had a hand in the downfall of the Israelites and continue to have their foots upon our necks and change the glory. of Basham Yahushai into a damn lie, unrighteous decrees, all these different things, man. But there is a recompense. You see, verse 22, professing themselves to be wise. They became fools and changed the glory of the uncorruptible power into an image made like unto corruptible men to the, uh, and to birds and four footed beasts and creeping things. Wherefore, the most high power also gave them up to uncleanliness, right, through the lust of their own hearts and dishonor their own bodies between themselves. And we see that all over the damn place, especially here in Babylon. All right. And also over there in damn Tel Aviv, man. It's a bunch of madness. All right. So I'm going to leave it right there. Hopefully this lesson was edifying, man. They 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 trying everything to shut us the hell up. But ultimately, Yahabashim Yahashai is going to say to his men, uh, hey, that's enough. You know, that's enough. That's it. The ministry is finished. Giving all praise, honor and glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rekaha, Kwadash. Double honors to the men who rule well. The men at Great Millstone. Damn it. I said it. That's the truth. All right. Healthy shalom to the brothers that are out there doing the work, work in truth and sincerity. All right. Again, hopefully this lesson was edifying. Hey, watch out now and keep the charge of your how about Shimmy Shai. Ain't no stopping this truth. You can't stop it. And ain't the damn thing you can do about it. All right. When your how about Shimmy Shai sees fit uh, in the prophecies, when he makes a failure of the word, then that's that. All right. So, hey, look up for your redemption. Draw off nine. Every chance you get, chin this place down. Kwam Yasharala and Wa, a Bible ball. Boom! Love you, family. Shalom.